I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave Himself for me. Galatians two twenty. Devotional, dying to live, dying to ourselves can feel like a bad thing. Most people want to exalt, applaud, and promote themselves, but in God's kingdom. Dying to ourselves is essential. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave His life for me. Galatians, two twenty. A lump of、uh, clay cannot become a work of art. Unless it is shaped into something else, a container of、uh, paint cannot be used for a masterpiece unless it is first poured out. A carbon deposit must change in order to become a diamond. A caterpillar must give up its old way of life in order to become a magnificent butterfly. The invitation to die is actually an invitation to live. When we give our lives to God, we're choosing to surrender our plans, our desires, and our gifts. And that can be hard, but we also know this is something better, and some someone better on the other side. God can realign our plans, reshape our desires, and repurpose our gifts for His glory. The Apostle Paul, the author of Galatians, knew firsthand the life-changing power of Christ. Christ's power radically transformed Paul from someone who persecuted the believers. Into a passionate follower of Jesus, because of that experience, Paul knew that the only way to live was by surrendering every area of his life to Christ, and that's why he invites us to do the same. Jesus couldn't have been rescued, resurrected without that being crucified. And the same is true for us. So, what do you need to give up Jesus today? What behavior, habit, or thought do you need to crucify? Come as you are to Jesus and give Him permission to transform and renew your life. Prayer, God, my life is yours. Please take. Every part of it, every area of my life that doesn't honor you, take it. Everything in security, fear, selfish ambition, and the past hurt, I give it all to you. Please put those things to death, so that way I can experience your abundant love life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave Him for Himself for me. Galatians two twenty. 我已经与基督同钉十字架。现在活着的不再是我，乃是基督在我里面活着，并且我如今在肉身活着，是因信神的儿子而活。他是爱我，为我舍己。加拉太书二二十。Welcome. Devote the next few minutes to being still with God. When you are ready, take a cup of deep. 
breaths and prepare to enter into God's presence. Honor God, God. When I consider the works of your hands, I am overwhelmed. You are holy, and you set me apart and sustain my life. Yet, you created a way for me to know you personally. O、oh、God, when I think of you, I am humbled and changed. All glory, honor, and the power are yours alone. In Jesus' name, Amen. My concerns: If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. John fourteen fourteen. What do you need God to do for you today? Bring your requests to God and add some of them to your prayer list. God's protection. For who is God but the Lord, and who is a rock except our God? Second Samuel twenty two thirty two. Where do you need God's deliverance right now? Call out to God and tell Him what you need. Closing, as you reflect on your prayer time, what do you need to let go of? And what do you need to press into more? Sit with those things for a few minutes. Don't leave this time until you are ready.